Good morning, my lovelies. Look what's here to greet me. My Oxalis triangularis. Oh my, 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 my. It's beautiful. Look at this. Hang on, I can't see. The sun is in the wrong angle, but anyway. Let's go have a look over here. There you go. Beautiful. Now, this looks like little butterflies, isn't it? Look at that gorgeous. I love, 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 love this plant the first time I saw it. So I actually grabbed it the minute I found one. So when I got this plant, I paid $35 and literally it had four leaves three months ago and I separated because they have little bulbs so what I did was separated it and put one bulb that didn't even have it's got one leaf on the other bulb and I thought that's it it's already dead <laughs> but this one had a couple of bulbs in it so I put the two in here and the dead one on the other one and the other one is also growing by the way so this one is now so from Altogether, it had four leaves, the three plants or three bulbs. And now, three months down the track, look how thick that is. And look how big that is. Beautiful butterfly. And where I keep this one, okay, you heard my budgie. He just threw his bell on the floor. He wants to play with mommy again. So where I have this is it gets morning sun but sort of dappled you can see my hands here so this is just behind my succulents on the other side there in the glass door but this gets sort of dappled morning sun what i found is that they tend to search for the light or go for the light pedro stop it you silly bird is flying over my head again he just swiped my hair ah hello hello messy bird oh, look at you straight away onto mommy you're not going to let me go again. Come here, baby P. You look a bit messy. <laughs> there you go. That's his way of helping me clean up. But anyway, uh, back to this plant. <laughs> See, look, there's new flower store coming out there. And hang on, let's go check out the flower. Now that I touch this, I'm sure Pedro's going to eat this. I think this is poisonous, Pedro. You can't have this. That's why I'm hiding this from me. I think I'll have to bring this upstairs because every time I touch a plant, a few minutes later, you, you go and eat it, don't you? Now, this one here, look, the flower is just gorgeous. Now he's eating the strap of my camera. And beautiful, tiny little flowers. And well, how they grow is that they tend to uh, face the sun. So I might need to do it this way turn it around and that way they can sort of even up or else they're going to grow like wonky and okay so that's my oxalis triangularis beautiful beautiful plant and i love love it oh by the way i forgot the soil that i use i got 50 percent of my no non-fertilized potting mix which is basically a well shop bought I got it from my local hardware store, and I think it's Rich Grow, Rich Grow, something like that. Anyway, the brand. Now, I took 50% of that and sieved it, and yeah, I know. And then after I sieved it, I put 25% coconut coir and also 25% pumice. So you can see those pumice there. So that's the mixture I put in this one. That's why it looks like it's a lot of coconut coir and a lot of pumice is because of that. And I water this when it dries up. When I say dries up, so maybe once a week because it depends. It depends on <laughs> uh, my, in here we've got some heater going right now and the house is at 23 degrees most of the time and then of course overnight pedro stop crawling he's okay if only guys you see what this bird is doing come here come come here hang on oh he's all over me now anyway pedro oh, don't go that's his way of tantrum because he wants me to pay attention to him i'll get to you soon baby p now this is very easy to grow and 
Uh, it's not frost hardy, so take it. Don't take it outside because I'm sure it will die. And okay, so I have to stop this now and attend to this budgie because he's really getting cranky. He's like throwing tantrums. You're throwing tantrums, aren't you? What's on your face? You have to clean up your face. Look at him. Hey, baby P. Yeah, I know you're just giving me kisses, but you're you're annoying, mommy. Hey, you be a good boy. Come here. Hey, hey. Oh, cause he wants to eat that plant. You can't eat that plant, baby P. You can't eat that plant. Okay, let's go get your toy. So, I was going to do, uh, anyway, this one is Euphobia Milia. It's not supposed to be good. So, that's why I can't have any plants here because this bird, he's been eating some, oh, he ate my Romeo. Oh, i show you what he did to my Romeo. My Romeo! Look what he did. I have to put, hang on, Pedro. Look what you've done. Okay, you go sit there, okay? Now, my Romeo here, look what he did. He ate it. Look, <laughs> that one there, my baby Romeo. I brought it inside because we had those uh, too much rain and I was really concerned that it might rot on me. So, because outside it was uh, cold and windy and whatever all the time and I wasn't really concerned it's going to rot. I was more concerned of... Uh, of its, I want it to grow faster. Okay, he's off. Oh my God, that bird, tell ya. <laughs> I want it to grow faster, so I thought I'll bring it inside so I can give it a head start and hopefully it will grow really, really, really fast, which it, it did because outside it was just stagnating. It wasn't growing, it's not, because I have a eye measurement. <laughs> I look at it every day and say, ooh, that's about a tenth of a millimeter size now. But it wasn't growing outside, so it was still the same size when I first took it out. And that was two months ago. And then so now I brought it inside here to enjoy the sun. And it was growing really fast. And then my budgie ate it. Anyway, so this is my jelly jam here, which has recovered. This has suffered a little bit. Oh, hang on. And I have to put back <laughs> this little fossilized shell in there because Pedro doesn't like anything that's black. I think it's instinctive that uh, crows eats them or something like that. Or birds of prey, eagle. We have chicken oak or wedge-tailed eagle here in Australia. So anything that's black, he, he gets really afraid or cautious. So he wouldn't eat anything that's sort of dark. So I have to put that there. So that way... Uh, it sort of tricks him that there's a crow in here. But anyway, this jelly jam here rotted because of we had so much rain. So there's a couple of leaves in the bottom that sort of rotted. And I was able to get one more leaf in there. And I think that's got a little pimple on the end there I can see. So anyway, so this jelly jam now has recovered, has recovered and has settled down. And so... Uh, this is where I'm going to put them for a while because it's really, really cold and windy outside. They're not going to do any growing. But at least here, they can start growing again. So this window faces northwest. So that's why you get the morning sun, the afternoon sun as well. But it's covered by all that other plants outside as well. And my red guava tree I, have you seen a red guava tree before well if you haven't now you have <laughs> i've never seen a red guava tree i grew up in the philippines and we have a guava tree in front of the house and when it flowers or fruit bear fruit we just harvest it like straight going before going to school we just go oh just pick a guava for dessert for the morning for breakfast so and so that's why I have this guava tree. And this is a cherry guava, which is actually frost hardy for our area here, our temperate climate here in Canberra, Australia. And in here I got some uh, leaf propagations that I am trying out. I got some Lawi, Mundas, Blue Paris, all sorts of little whatever. Now this one needs to be watered. So I water this one maybe every three days. But this one now, oh, Mundasi, you can see the baby Mundas, they are so cute. And look at that, that chubby, look chubby, chubby. And those ones are, I don't know what you are, they are, oh, this one is cute. Uh, hang on, that one is Belladonna. One of them, or two, or three, a couple of them, 
is Belladonna and probably that one is also Amundas. Anyway, I'll get to know when they grow up. So they're all growing and I took some cuttings. What is that one? Leticia and something else. Ooh. Yes, I got some Leticia leaves there. That's not probably going to go. And bees knees. There you go. So I'm drying them out because, see, you can see that that got my bees knees. They're not very frost hardy, so I can't put them in the garden. And now I have to find a way to put them somewhere because I won't be growing them anymore. So certain plants now I'm not going to grow. I'm only growing ones that has survived the frost. Any divayish plant? Goodbye. But <laughs> my my Romeo, other Romeo. Oh, look at that. Oh, more baby Romeo. So my two Romeos has got three babies or something like that each. And this one, the budgie, is talking in the background again. Um, the budgie. What, what do you want, Pedro? I'm coming. Oh, no. Um, hang on. So they have three babies each. And then this one here is my variegated Mabina which is growing happily here as well. So I also have some outside and growing. They're growing. They're all growing still. But this one is much bigger. So I thought I'll bring this inside here so that way they can grow much faster and I can chop chop them in a couple of months and to turn them into mummies. This is the Delulu that I've shown in uh, my video a couple of weeks ago, I think now of the spray so this rotted and i saved it and it has settled down and there's flowers about to come out and the other one is the where are you so the belladonna as well so the belladonna has formed little pimples on top of the leaves so as a reaction to my methylated spirit spray but i think it's more of what happened to it, the fungus that attacked it. So that's probably fungus marks. But anyway, she's still growing, she settled down. So this is to show that the my methyl spray or my fungicide and insecticide spray works really well. Now this one also, also is my baby West Rainbow. So this is one of the baby, I think this is last year's uh, propagation or actually the head chop this is the baby that produced and it got attacked by aphids while it's inside here those little black sesame seed spots on it and I just sprayed it with my methylated spirit solution and now it's happy well it's not happy they're dead the, the aphids but the plant is happy so that's it guys so I think this is getting too long and my coffee's cold again and aloe vera here dried up when I came back from my trip so I have watered it a couple of times since I came back but I think oh it's still heavy so I might have to soak this again and water it because this is the proper aloe vera so uh, this you can actually eat so this what what brand are you this is uh, the chinensis, the aloe vera chinensis. And there's also another aloe vera. So this aloe vera here is not a chinensis. It's just aloe vera. This one is not edible. You can use this for your skin, but I don't think you can eat it. Well, I wouldn't eat it anyway. But the other one, I would. But that's probably for future videos. So anyway, guys, that's it. Have a lovely day. And if you're in Canberra or Australia, well, even in Sydney, I think they're on lockdown right now. And but it's cold and they said forecast tomorrow. The sun's going to come out again. Well, we have the sun today, as you can see outside. And I need to clean my window. But anyway, the budgie is going to fly straight into it again because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's my excuse for not cleaning my window no but i really have to clean this i'll give this a little bit of cleanup so that way we can have more sun in here and look what i'm seeing there beautiful beautiful uh elegance echeveria um yeah it is alpicans <laughs> but it's got another castle ring guiana some some funny long name but anyway that's it guys 
and oh look beautiful plants okay I'm just gonna go outside and check on my other plants <laughs> 